The answer is yes, we can. And when you get different forms of the same element that have different bonding, we call them allotropes. Let's just recall that isotopes are different forms of the same element where the atoms have different numbers of neutrons. So don't get isotopes mixed up with allotropes. So two allotropes of the same element are made of the same kind of atom. For instance, two allotropes of carbon would both be made only of carbon atoms. But the different bonding arrangement makes a huge difference to their properties. So let's have a look at some of these. The Wikipedia page for carbon has a really nice graphic which illustrates the different bonding in a range of carbon allotropes. Uh, so the eight that they're showing here are diamond and graphite and Lonsdaleite, which is a little bit like diamond, but the arrangement of bonds has a slightly different symmetry. It's named after a famous British crystallographer, Kathleen Lonsdale. Uh, then we've got a variety of buckyballs with different numbers of carbon atoms involved. Uh, we've got amorphous carbon, and we've got uh, bucky tubes, also known as carbon nanotubes. So let's explore these a bit more deeply.